boy, oh boy, oh boy, life is exciting. Where's my coffee? I should grab that. Well, it's Christmas Eve. It's been a long time since I've made a video. I know there's probably a few people that are like, where did you go? Well, it's kind of like I said a video or two ago. There's just not a lot happening in the vape world. I mean, it's like we've kind of, to me, we've come to a plateau. We've got some great products, man. We have got things, the, the vaping world just boomed. I mean, we had, let's see, we went from cartridges and dripping into atomizers and tearing them apart to make them better and uh, just standard 3.7 volt, you know, batteries or we stacked them to get 6 volts and then we, you know, we were using low resistance stuff to match up with the 3.7 volts. But your mechanical batteries, uh, a couple people have brought this to my attention on my beginner's vaping video. They're right. You know, I just was trying to get through it as fast as I could. Yes, at a fully charged mechanical mod, whether it be an Ego, uh, um, you know, or a mechanical basic mod, it's your battery, one 18650 battery, is going to be 4.2 volts to start with. And then it will gradually work its way to 4.1 to 4.0, 3.9, 3.8, and eventually to 3.7, where it's going to stay there. It's going to stay at 3.7 by far the longest out of any of the voltages. But then it will drain down to, I've gotten it down to 3.3 volts and hanging on for dear life, man. And you're just, you just wait and you turn the voltage down on your uh, regulated mod, you know, and you can, you can still keep getting one out. Like, say you're driving and you're almost home. you just got a half hour to get home. Your batteries are in your bag, in your backpack, and you don't want to reach back there and grab one out, you know. You, so you just wait. You can really suck the life out of those batteries. I don't know if it's healthy to do that or not. Some batteries, it's good to drain them down to zero. But I know in the quadcopter world, uh, quadcopters and remote control airplanes and stuff like that, it's not good. You don't want to drain your lithium batteries down. So it, it could be the same with these. So that's something to consider. But I don't know for sure. But anyway, yeah, so we'll address that. Yes, it does start off at 4.2 volts. And uh, if you're stacked, yes, it's 6 volts, but it's actually, what, 8 point something? I don't remember. 7 point, whatever. But you get the idea. I mean... Some people are just nitpicky, and, and that's good. That's nothing wrong with that when we're talking about batteries. But uh, So I've addressed that. This video is going to be about the juices that I use, the juice sites that I only go to, and I've tried a lot of them. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to be all over the place in this video because I don't really per se have anything to review because to me, like I said, we've come to that plateau. You know, uh, then cardamizers came out after all of that. Those were great. And then Cardinal Tanks came out. There was a gentleman that had a question on tanks. He's still confused about tanks. We're going to address that. I'm going to address uh, questions in here from people and see if we can get you, because some, some things are just easier to explain to you on video where I can flat out show you. And uh, I am always going to cater towards the beginners. So, uh, you know, so... To me, that's very much a beginner question. I'm still confused on cardo tanks versus other tanks. You know, that's a tank. This is a tank. But they're two completely different things. You know, this is a tank. This tank is the same as this tank, only this has got a cardamizer in it. This one just doesn't. It's all ready to put a cardo in it. It's already getting confusing, isn't it? But don't worry. Hang with me. We're going to take care of that. So then... Regulated mods came out where we could crank up the voltage. I remember uh, my first one. To me, if you are not vaping on a regulated mod, uh, or a, I shouldn't say regulated, uh, a variable wattage, variable voltage mod, either or, I don't care which one, as long as you have one. Like the Ego Twist, you can twist the bottom of it, and it cranks up, and it cranks down. Simple, so easy, and this is what I recommend for beginners, probably more than anything, because it's just so easy, you don't even have to look at it. You just go by feel and taste and just crank up and down as you're vaping. I like that, because it is so simple. And uh, it, But like I said, if you don't have variable voltage, variable wattage, you are missing out on the biggest part of vaping. As far as I am concerned, the biggest difference in vaping, if, you're, if there's one thing we can you know, point to that we could say, you got to have this. This makes by far the biggest difference in your quality of vape. To me, it's definitely variable wattage or variable voltage or both. Variable wattage, if you set the wattage, 
it will adjust the mod to whatever uh, ohm that you have screwed onto the end of it. Whereas voltage, it's going to fire that voltage no matter what you have. So if you've got a low resistance, 1.8 ohm cardamizer or a, or a Vivinova or a Pro Tank or something like that with a 1.8 ohm low resistance head, um, and you fire six volts through it, you're gonna, it's gonna fire that six volts and it's gonna fry your head and you're gonna taste a burning taste. And the minute you taste anything burning, you stop, maybe suck a little harder to get airflow to cool it down to save your coil if you don't burn it out. Whereas wattage, if you had it set for 15 watts on 1.8 ohms, it's not gonna crank six volts through it. It's gonna be lower. It's gonna figure out, okay, what ohm is screwed to me and it will put that wattage through it. I've kind of mentioned that on the beginner's video, but I'm just mentioning it again. And uh, for anybody that's watching that has no idea the difference between wattage and voltage, there you go. That's the difference. So wattage is a safer bet. I usually always use wattage. On my pro tanks uh, that are recoiled, I use go from 10 to 11 watts. Um, on my Vivinovas, I'm generally 7 to 8 watts because I f they're uh, the new dual coils, you know, they're top coil design so they fire a little hotter anyway because the coil is a lot closer to your mouth by the time you get it into your mouth and it hits your tongue and all that good stuff so you don't need as much uh, watts for that which is great because it also saves battery time when I'm using my uh, pro tanks which I do all the time and they're all recoiled and they mostly all of them are 2.4 ohms so to crank 10 Oh, uh, watts do a 2.4 ohm. That's a higher resistance yeah, oil job. Yeah, Kevin's pushing off. He's what? He's pushing off. Oh, is he? Yeah. Are you camera shy today? No. No. He was pushing off. Oh, he was? Yeah. You need your face white, honey. What were you eating? Chocolate. Chocolate. Nice. Yeah, we've been baking, so we have all kinds of sweet stuff. Okay, I'm going to shoot this video. Can you go in and just get along while I do this? Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. I'll s so go wander, just go, you know. Would you go watch TV? Mm -hmm. No. Well, at least you're honest. So anyway, she's going to be here. Um, so yeah, it's a higher resistance uh, build that I have here. And um, so it to fire 10 watts through this, it takes a lot more juice than if I was firing 10 watts through... A 1.8 ohm. So I, I go through a lot more batteries with when I'm using my, uh, you know, my uh, Kangers that I built myself. Well, back to the beginnings of vaping. Um, when we, uh, so variable wattage, variable voltage. If you don't have it, get it. And, uh, you know, then the cardamizer tank came out that we could put a cardamizer in there. Um, so let's get on that subject of the tanks. How about that? Let me see if I could figure out. Um, maybe we can find this guy. Here's a question. Where do you buy your dual coils? Uh, this is from Woodland Hunt Hunter. Woodland Hunters. Shout out to Woodland Hunters. We've gotten to know one another. Him and his wife, they're very kind. They've given sent me some very kind emails and uh, they just draw tears and that's been great. Um, let's just, while we're on the email, here we go. I told you we're going to be all over the place here. I'm sorry. So here we go. Where do you buy your dual coils? To be honest, I buy everything I can through VaporAlley.com. V-A-P-O-R-A-L-L-E-Y.com. Uh, Rick is the owner. He's a very good, good person. Uh, I don't work for him. I'm not affiliated with him. Um, I don't make money doing anything, suggesting any sites. I, I, I just try to give you the sites. I'm not looking for money or profit, at least not yet. You know, I, I've had emails of people saying, you know, you should uh, maybe get a plug or get a kickback or, you know, become an affiliate. And that's a good point. Uh, maybe someday. But for me... The, I like to just give you the sites because if these are my favorite sites and I've shopped at all of them, then maybe they'll be your favorite sites. It's not so much for me about money and profits to the people that I enjoy uh, uh, buying from the most as it is giving you guys the best experience, shopping experience possible. So my best shopping experience 
I'm going to give to you to try to make vaping easier because vaping can be a pain in the butt uh, with, with so many vendors, so many styles and things like that. So that's where I buy my dual coils. Now, he was talking specifically the Vivinova dual coils on that. And uh, um, because he got the same bad, funky taste because he had single coils on his Vivinova that he just bought. And you guys, if you follow my videos, I've talked about this many times. Yes, there's like a funky taste because of the protective oil coating that they coat their coils with on the single coil Vivinovas. And uh, it, they, they're gross, man. They just, and they never used to be that way. Now I find you got to boil them or even pull a wick out. If you got questions on all of that, just watch my other videos and we'll address that. So that's where I get my dual coils. Dual coils on the Vivinova. Uh, if you're going to go Vivinova, get Vision. If you're going to go Vision Vivinova, get dual coil. Then you just put it on a vape. So that's that question. Um, 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 um. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's talk about getting a genuine Joy Ego twist. Alan Tig discovered his local vape store sells nothing but generic items, which explains why all the clear misers leak from them. Don't be fooled into believing names like Ego or Vivinova are a style. They are a brand and model names. This is one area that could improve if the government ever really starts regulating this industry. I could not agree more, Mr. Alan Tig. That is just very well put. My buddy, Ryan, he got himself a Vivinova and a uh, Ego Twist. And he got it off of eBay. Got it at a pretty good price. And But then he it shows up. The head is, is a complete knockoff. I've seen the head before, something very similar to it. I've, I've still got some in my uh, vape basket that's just cluttered with crap. That I, could, I should just throw it all away. I don't know why I keep it. And those heads suck. They leak. He's exactly what Alan Tate here said. If you're getting these generics in so many places, they'll advertise it as the real thing, you know, and it's not. And you know when you get it and they're, and they're constantly leaking that something's up, you know. So I love this comment, and I agree. You've got to be careful with these things. Um, getting a genuine ego is tough, to, is tough to do sometimes. Here's what I find. If you're going for genuine... Vapor Alley seems to have it going on, and so does GotVapes.com, G-O-T-V-A-P-E-S.com. These two sites have never steered me wrong. I mean, if I am looking for an Ego, a Joytech Ego Twist, that is what I get. If I'm looking for a genuine Vision Vivianova, that is what I get. So that's something that's going to help you avoid pitfalls to this stuff, like my buddy Ryan, who got himself a, a knockoff. And it's, you know, it's going to work. And I think we're going to, I told him, I'll give him a genuine, uh, you know, dual coil head. And it might be all right. And, uh, but we'll find out. But either way, if you get a knockoff version of the twist, it's not the end of the world. It still performs good. I mean, every one I've ever gotten, they perform well. But the genuine ones will get a little bit hotter. Uh, they'll, they'll crank out a little bit more voltage than the, than the you know, the not genuine ones. So there's that. Let's see. Joy Tech doesn't know the hell's this guy. Oh, Alan Tech. Joy Tech does own the patent design. There was a guy saying at one point that Joy Tech does not own the Ego Twist. They don't own that patent. Alan Tech here is saying, yes, they do. Nothing is regulated in, the, in China like it is in the U.S., however, and they are making and selling the junk ones right along with the good ones. Most Americans seem to fear big government. But personally, I can't wait for the feds to regulate this industry. God only knows what some of us might be uh, ingesting from the juice and the vaporizers. Ah, those are good points, I think. I don't like getting political or bringing politics into much of anything because I don't like politics. Oh, frosting, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, keep your hair out of it because we just washed it and brushed it, remember? Thank you. All right. Anyway, um, but I, I think government, I think there's a place for government. I, th I think he makes a good point here. There's a place for regulation, absolutely, especially if it's, if it's good things. Uh, and I hope, I always hope for the best. I hope it is. I hope it is good things, as scary as it sounds. But, uh, all right, cool. Moving on. Where is the guy that had the question uh, on the Hi, uh, on the, on the tanks, man. 
I thought I was gonna run into him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is it. I have made use most bait, but right? price range, okay, there's another one. Darn it, I hope this guy I because I wanted to mention him, you know. Maybe this is him. Tanks, there he is. ASVP Anthony. As VP Anthony, ASVP. I don't know what ASVP is. I always look at people's usernames and I always think, how did you come up with that name? All right, let's talk about tanks, Anthony. Okay. There's two main differences when it comes to tanks. There's cartomizer tanks and there's clearomizer tanks. Clearomizer and tank often refer to the same thing. Some people call them tanks, some people call them clearomizers. Uh, I'm going to need my other stuff that's sitting right here. Let's get a couple of tanks here. Um, sure. Do I have another one in Yeah, there's another one in here. Just to give you, a, just to give you another example. Here we go. It's all juicy. I should have brought paper towels, which I never do, but oh well. Okay. First, we had the cardamizer tanks, because cardamizers came before that. And it started off, all we had was cardamizers. You'd open up the cardo, came in this little bag, and now my fingers are all juicy. It's going to be very fun opening this. It's like God gave us teeth to open up plastic packages. And I didn't... Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Well, that's dumb. All that work. All right. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> no, I think we got it. Oh, girl, you were making yourself all dirty, and we showered, and we bathed you. Mm. Yes. So I've been sitting here recording, thinking that it was recording the whole time. I just realized it wasn't. My daughter pressed a button or something and cut off. She cut off the recording. Ah, oh, so i got to start all over. Okay, so where I, I just viewed the previous video. So you had a cardamizer, cardamizer, cardamizer tank. You know, a hole in the middle, all held in with the O-rings, O-rings down here that would seal the cardamizer. You shove the cardamizer in, bring it up to about, oh, almost towards the top. You drip in through the top, fill it up with stuff, but you would first punch holes or slot the cardo. And uh, in order for the juice to get into the cardamizer, because the cardamizer is filled with cotton with shots of coil inside and gives you your vape. It's a great way to vape. It really is, and everybody, I think, should try it once at least, because it is, a to me, I mean, a, a fresh cardamizer, freshly filled, uh, wow. It, it doesn't get a lot better than that in flavor. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, this can be a pain because they're not as user-friendly to clean and stuff, and when you're on the go, which I'm always on the go, these can be a pain because you'll also find that, it, I find anyway, and a lot of other people do too, I know I'm not the only one, I've read the forums and what everybody else has to say. If you're using darker juices or thicker juices, you'll probably go through one of these every couple, two, three days. I think it gets expensive. Whereas clear misers, you know, uh, clear misers, you replace those heads. I mean, it, they're a lot more forgiving in any juice environment. However, car misers, if you're using a thinner, lighter juice, hey, you know, they'll last a long time. Uh, but as far as tanks go, it's almost always called cardo tank. I've never heard it not called. If, you're, if we're dealing with cardamizers, it's a cardo tank because it takes a cardamizer. And you can use the cardamizer without the tank, but you know, you've got to fill, you know, down through here. And, uh, but this was great when these came out, you know, because uh, this was all we had. Then the clearmizers came out. Vivinova, that's a clearmizer. This, uh, iClear 16, this is a clearmizer. Anything that does not use a cardo is a clearomizer, but a lot of people, like myself, I just call it a tank. And uh, but it is technically a clearomizer. 
<clears throat> Beginners. That's all you need to know about tanks, really. If it's not a cargo tank, doesn't use a carbonizer, then it's all other tanks. It's uh, clearizers. As far as I know, the Pro Tank, the Vivinova, the iClear 16, the iClear 30, the Kanger T2s, Kanger T3s, Kanger Pro Tank, Pro Tank 2, Pro Tank 3, they're all clearizers. They all do the same thing, but they're, you know, if you, you get what you pay for, too. Here's the Pro Tank. It's a uh, nice metal, chromey looking. It's fancier looking compared to the Vivinova. The Vivinova is polycarbon or plastic, as I like to call it. I don't know. And uh, where this is glass. Cinnamon juices will eat through that, uh, but you can get metal tanks for those, so that'll take care of that. Or you can get a pro tank, but the pro tanks are glass, so the cinnamon won't eat through that. <clears throat> However, everything's kind of a trade off in the vaping world. This is bottom coil. Coils down here. Vivinova dual coil is top coil. Coils are up here. So as you're vaping, it's going to take longer for this vapor to hit your mouth on the pro tank as it is for this one to hit your mouth. Hence, we'll give you sometimes a more intense and warmer vape. Whereas the pro tank, I find that I have to build my own micro coils. Hello, honey. Life's home. To, you know, get a warm vape, which I like which I have no problem doing. All of my pro tanks have been fitted with micro coils. And, uh, yeah, so that's it on tanks. Let me take a quick break, get my coffee. Got coffee. See how, why it's hard to shoot videos? The wife comes home, I got the kids, and, uh, I told her, I said, I thought I had time to shoot a video. I didn't think we were going to be home until noon. And she's like, we can still shoot a video. Okay. So we're going to still shoot a video. And I can't remember what I talked about before that I thought was recording and it didn't. It's just going to be one of them long videos, guys. And you're just going to have to deal with it. Thankfully, a few of you, the comments that I get from some of you are it's just so fantastic. It just brings tears to my eyes. I feel like I've gotten to know you guys. And we're going to talk about... What I like to vape as far as juices, I'm going to maybe take you on a tour through my house. And I'm going to show you outside here in South Dakota where we get all the snow. Because all of you that don't get snow, you're going to see what we get to deal with here. And uh, just a way to kind of get to know each other because I've gotten to know some of you so much. Uh, I'm going to try to give shout outs. OP Rant, OP Errand, whatever his name is. Got a shout out to him, Ryan. Eagle, shout out to you. Nathan Morgan, shout out to you. Tyler Billbrook, shout out to you. Uh, there's more. Dolores, got to give her a shout out. She's fantastic. Shout out to uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Anthony, hey, we'll give you a shout out as well. <laughs> Victorious, shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, great comment. I love it. Says I'm a cool guy, man. Um, yeah, just, uh, I'm just so appreciative to you guys. I mean, I literally get teary, teared up some of these comments that I read. And uh, you guys are great. And i got to give a shout-out to Woodland Hunters. You guys have been great. Um, he's telling me that Mad Vapes has a Vision Vivian you know, Dual Coil tank on sale for $3.99 each. Wow. Vision Vivian you know, Dual Coil tank, $3.99 each on sale. I should be getting like five of those. That is outstanding. Thank you for that. That is awesome. If you guys are interested in the dual foil Vivinova, <clears throat> let's talk about that. Let's address this. Vaping for beginners. This is a beauty ring. Let me get my camera back up. You don't have to have this, but it makes it look prettier. Vision, Vivinova. I don't know if this is charged. Hopefully it is. Screw that on. It just makes things look prettier. I don't know if it's going to screw on. There it is. Alright. And now you're left with that. Is this thing working? Yep. Um, this might be a post that I've ruined on this one because I screwed up pulling my post. That's why I addressed. Don't screw up your post, man. Screw that on. Mm. This battery's my dead as can be. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Just this little tiny compact vape. It looks decent enough. 
This will run you a total of 50 bucks at the highest case scenario. You can shop around and get them at a cheaper price. That's all you need. Vivianova Twist. I've got it cranked to max. I'm going to bump it down a touch. Hold your button. And you just vape. Vivianova Dual Coil or a Kinger Pro Tank. I don't care. Where did it go, man? I don't know. I don't care which one you go for. Just go for one or the other. That drives me nuts. Where did that thing go? Did it fall off? I don't know. I'll find it later. We'll do another pause, I guess. So either way, get one of each and decide what you like best. Maybe you like both of them. And then just get yourself some juice. Every once in a while, you're going to have to charge your Vivianova. And uh, I guess you don't even think, I don't, you don't even have to take the beauty run to ring off the charging. Come with a charger. Get yourself a charger. Five bucks. Vivinova, the most expensive it'll run, 30, 32 bucks for the best of genuine Vivinovas. Plug that into your computer or put it into an electrical adapter, plug it into the wall. Simple as that, okay? Once in a while, you know, make sure you don't screw things down too tightly so you don't shove your post down. You want it just making contact, and that is it. That's all you need to vape, guys. Simple as that. Fill it and vape. All right? We've addressed it. It does not have to be complicated. I'm tired of the comments coming to my vaping for beginners. Oh, this is way too much of a hassle. No. My vaping for beginners video was nothing more than to tell you about all the lingo that you will hear visiting the forums and, and watching other YouTube videos, and you're not going to have any idea what anybody's talking about if you're a brand new vapor. I'm just telling you what everything means. You decide what's best for you. But for those of you that think that that video is so complicated, this is all you need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it is fantastic. It is every bit, to me, as good as this big mod. But I like my variable wattage, whatever. I have it, so I'm going to use it. Get over it. All right. Personally, I like two twists because then I can have one on the charger at all times. While I'm running one dead, swap it out. Okay? Just my advice to you. I like the beauty ring. It's cool. You can get them at madvapes.com. Last I knew. Um, so that's that. <sighs> what else? Well, at this point, let's... Well, all right, let's keep looking at questions. Any more questions? Guy was having Woodland Hunters having problems with his battery or his VAMO. If you're watching, let me know, man, what you came up with on that. I'm paying attention. Okay, what else? What else? Ding, 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 ding. What's this guy have to say? Double shock. Do you have the authentic bulbas? That bottle doesn't look familiar. Did you get it from Alien Visions? If not, that isn't the real bulbas in the uh, valley. Hmm. Alien Visions. Double shock. I know this is the real bulbous bounty. That I do know. Because the real bulbous bounty comes from avejuice.com. The knockoff version is Alien Vapor. And I do have a bottle of each. So I know exactly what you're talking about. The new Alien Visions bottles are the dark green bottles like this. That's your new Alien Visions uh Gorilla Juice is what I got here. But yeah, Boba's Bounty comes in the same bottles. These new ones. They, yeah, they didn't used to come in these. But I, I dig them. They're cool, man. <clears throat> and uh, Boba's Bounty. There, let's start right there. Boba's Bounty is a juice that I always have. And you want to go to avejuice.com for that. Don't go to, don't go to what, what, what was it called? Dang it. Um, Alien Vapor. Yeah, alienvapor.com. No. Or maybe... No. AVE juice? Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Um, so yes, double shot. Double, double shot. This is legit, man. And it's good stuff. All right. Who else? Who else? Anybody else? Any questions? Okay, tanks. I think we've addressed that. Mr. Anthony, I hope you're happy with that explanation. Um, 
Victorious, I love your comment. It becomes a hobby when the vape bug bites. I will attest to that. That comes from Chrono Chronopsis? 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 <laughs> Five. It, come, it becomes a hobby when the bait bug bites. I can attest to that. I agree. It does. It does. But it's fun, right? It does become a hobby. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> That's it for that. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure we don't leave anybody out. Um, let's see. Joy Eagle C Twist. Here's something interesting about the Joy Joy Twist. There's knockoff versions on everything. My buddy Ryan, he got a knockoff version of the Bibi Nova in the mail. Ryan Engel, shout out to you, my brother. Uh, you know, came with a funky head. There's knockoffs on everything. <clears throat> uh, but let me give you two plugs. Vapor Alley, and I may have already mentioned this before. I'm sorry if I did, but I don't know if I did because of, yeah. Anyway, if you go to Mad Vape, I'm sorry, GotVapes.com and VaporAlley.com. Those are the two that I like the most. I always go for Vapor Alley first. Rick is a great gentleman. I get no kickbacks on anything. I don't get any money for anything. I'm just trying to give you the experience that I have. So go to those places, and those places sell legit products. So uh, this guy's talking about this, you know. Um, do you need, okay, here you go. Here's a guy, a stuffy armchair. Well, first of all, let's address this. There's knockoff versions. If you don't want a knockoff version, when it comes to the Ego Twist, it's not as crucial as, say, like the Vivi Nova. The tanks will leak like crazy. Um, there's another gentleman that uh, emailed me saying that he's got a vapor shot, that is all of his tanks, they're all knockoffs, and they all leak like crazy. Well, all tanks will leak. I can attest to that because here's how I keep everything in bags, and you can see all of that. No tank will completely not leak if you're constantly moving them around. Here's all my juices. This is how I do it. I bring them all on the train, you know, and, uh, you know, I get go up on the train, I sit there for like 16 hours, I come back, and then like 12 hours later, phone's already ringing, and I'm on my way back to work again. That's the way it's been lately, which is why I have not been able to reply to your comments, and uh, I don't really have a way to reply to them very well when I'm uh, away from home, because all I have is, is my phone, and I found it very difficult to try and respond to your comments. So that's why I'm doing it right here. Plus Christmas, the kids, you know, working, ugh, just gets, it gets tough. Anyway, so that's, that's why I, I, I carry everything in bags. I have no way to keep all my tanks upright, you know. Um, every once in a while, I trade out the bags. I rinse everything off, wash it off, dry it down, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, and uh, pretty, pretty simple, which is why also I choose to use Ego, or uh, Vision Vivinovas and Kenya Pro Tanks for pretty much everything anymore because they're so easy. I just pop the top, fill it up, screw it back on, and I'm off to the races again. Carry some batteries with me, and it's great. Vivinovas are maybe a little bit more favorable at times, but I find that different juices taste better, vice versa, you know, in, in each device. Like I say, the Vision Vivinova coils at the top. Some juices taste better in it, but yet some juices taste better in all my micro-coiled Kanger Pro Tanks. So many words. And, uh, but, you know, the Kanger Pro Tanks, they're like 2.4 ohms, almost all of them, that I 2.4, 2.6 in that area. So it takes, and I vape at wattage, you know, so it takes a lot of power to, to really, you know, give me what I want here. So I kill batteries faster. That's another consideration. The Vivinovas, top coil, dual coil, don't take, I, I run these at 11 on the Pro Tank. The Vivinovas, sometimes down to 6.5 watts. So a battery lasts a lot longer when you're using a Vivinova. It's just something else to consider. Um, you know, but you have extra batteries, that'll no big deal, right? So yeah, that's why I'm a big fan of Clearmizers because I'm always on the go and, uh, and that's why I keep everything in bags, because if you're constantly shifting things around, which in my lifestyle, getting on and off the train, it's just going to happen. And, uh, yeah, it's just, let's take another hit off the old ego. How about it? How about it? Feels good to be vaping on an ego. Because, like I said, when it comes to the number one priority of vaping, the number one thing 
that will always make the biggest difference in all of vaping as far as I'm concerned is variable wattage, variable voltage. One or the other or both, I don't care. This will give you variable voltage up and down. It's that simple. You don't even have to look at it. Just go by taste. And uh, that will make the biggest difference in your vape experience and quality of vape. So if you don't have variable voltage or wattage or both, that needs to be your number one priority. And this will give it to you and for 50 bucks at the most. And like I say, you shop around, you'll get it cheaper. So that's how easy it is for, you know, all of those that are constantly on my vaping for beginners of, you know, it's so complicated, so complicated. No, I put that video out to tell you all the lingo that you will hear visiting the forums, watching videos that you're not going to understand. After watching that video, you'll understand what everything is, and you make up your own mind of what you want to do. And I showed you this. I wasn't trying to make it complicated. Man, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, uh, but you see it here. Boom. This is all you need. Now I'm long-winded. I know. God, I'm, I'm always all over the place. But hey, it's all good. It's Christmas Eve. Who cares? And some people have been you know, commenting, telling me that uh, they like my long videos. And, you know, some of them don't have TV, and it's a form of entertainment. Hey, I'm all over it. This guy says he wants to start using a stuffy armchair. <laughs> I love it. He wants to start using a vaporizer. Just had a quick question that is surprising. Couldn't find one. Do you need an Ego C or which brand? Battery, atomizer, and flavor. Or is there something more that I need to get? I think we've already covered that. Ego Twist. I don't care if it has C in it or not. Get an Ego Twist. If you want it to be legit, go to gotvapes.com because they always have it there. Um, and get yourself, just Google it or whatever. Go to Got Vapes and search Ego Twist. It'll be right there. You can get 1,000 milliamp batteries, 600, 650, 750. I don't remember. They're all going to be a little different price, but um, they're just, you know, how many milliamps the batteries will hold. The higher the milliamp, obviously the longer that battery is going to last you. I find that the 1,000 milliamps will last me all day. So that's uh, what you need there. So you'll need that. You'll need the charger. You just screw the Ego onto the charger, plug it into your computer, or into an electrical thing and plug into your wall. And then you'll need juice. Oh, and a Vision Vivi Nova tank. Or a Kanger Pro tank. Personally, I'd start off with this. Make sure it's dual coil. Make sure it's dual coil. Shop at Vapor Alley or GotVapes.com and you will get legit products. And you will have hassle-free. Again, make sure it is dual coil. The single coils taste crappy. They have that machine oil and blah, blah, blah. You know, somebody else, uh, the, you know, the Haunters guy, uh, Woodland Haunters, messaged me saying his Vivinovas are tasting like crap. And he thought he had dual coil, but it wasn't. It was single coil because of the machine oil. Then you have to boil the hands, whereas the dual coil, you don't have to do that. That's all you're going to need there, Mr. Stuffy Armchair. Uh, all right. Hmm, anything else? What's this guy say? No, no, oh, okay, here's a guy uh, talking about the BBC Aspire. Right there. When he uses thicker juice, like Boba's, he has to drill out two holes, just a tad bigger than the stock one, so I don't get a burnt taste. Well, it's a good question, buddy, because I have not used a thick one in here. Um, P. Bissardo's claims that he does well with Boba's on it. Um, but yeah, he says he loves them, and uh, I do too. I, I, I always tend to vape on it once in a while at least. It's something that's worth having around. Um, <laughs> here's a San Antonio, San Antonio Spurs 9. You're out of the know if you're not vaping on the legal vape 4000. I agree. I agree that they're just very pricey and hard to get this time of year. He's a v V3, Vamo V3, the old spirals. Vivi guy myself as well. Seems like many people don't like the twist pattern. The V3, I like it. Hey, you know what? I like it too. It's just my beater, man. It's, I've got nicer... You know, I've got nicer mods, but they're so nice that I tend to leave them at home because I'm always on the go. I'm dropping it. The Vamo is a machine. You guys are wanting to step up. The Vamo, my God, it's just built like a tank. I love it. I have this thing has already been through absolute hell. I have dropped it. I've kicked it. It's it's been everywhere, knocked around so much, and it still 
just keeps vaping. I love how it's easy to just hold the button down and I see 2.3 ohms. I hold the other one down. I got 3.5 volts left. You know, it's getting down there, but it maintains its voltage pretty good because <clears throat> it's still putting out great. And uh, so easy to crank the wattage up and down with the crate. I just love the Vamo, man, because the other uh, devices that are nicer in quality and more expensive, they're more difficult to use and get through the menus and stuff, you know. And uh, nothing against them, but it's just uh, back to simplicity because of where I always am. I agree with you, San Antonio Spurs 9, that it's just tough to beat. Uh, it's just so easy. It's cheap enough that I'm not, you know, wanting to kill myself when I drop it and things like that. So, yeah, I am with you, with you. Whoa, he's watched this video. He's been, <laughs> Mr. Vuk Majovic. Vuk Majovic. Zimajovic. I have no idea what he's talking Who? What is? how I would pronounce his name. The main reason I always watch Jeff's videos, he's about as down to earth as you can possibly want. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you know, it's like what you see here is what you get. I mean... Everybody that knows me would attest to that. I'm always pretty much like I am right here. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to kind of keep tone it down a little bit because I'm trying to get through all this stuff. But plus, my wife's like in the other room, and I don't want her thinking I'm nuts. Well, she already does. I don't know why she married me. <laughs> what else? Uh, okay, Daddy Tech. ENT, thinking about this instead of the King or T3s that I normally use, and we're talking about the inhaler Aspire. Uh, also tried the iCure 30s. It's a good one, but it burns up too quick. I agree 100%. Don't fill up the tank over the top and fill too, blah, blah, blah. It'll gurgle. Yep, I agree. Once you do, you'll get the... Yes, I know. You're talking about that damn iClear 30. I don't like it anymore. There was a time I kind of did, but I, and then I, I like the i16 better, but then I was putting iClear 30s in the iClear 16, and I constantly go back to my good old Vivanova dual coil and my Pro Tanks, because those are the two tanks, to me, that are my favorite. They are what I vape on, period. Once in a while, yeah, I always vape on the Aspire. And once in a while, I'll, eventually, I'll always pull out a Cardo tank, and, you know, there's a Cardo tank I'll put together. You see, you know, liquid in there and everything, um, and I'll vape it, you know, whatever. You know, what's in this Cardo tank? Let's check it out, check it out. The good old uh, J tank, man. It's been a while since I've made on a car, though. There's something about a car, though. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the reminiscence. Who hmm. knows <laughs> how long this has been sitting around, man? Let's see, ohms. 2.2 ohms. It tastes like some sort of an amaretto. Not bad, but it needs a new Cardo because it's been, you know, sitting in there way too long. That's a Cardo. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, Daddy Tech ENT. Personally, like I said, if you're going to go go for the Vivid but make sure it's dual coil through those sites I mentioned. Or the Pro Tank. And it's just hard to beat. Go for the Pro Tank 2. I don't care for the Pro Tank 3 dual coil. Pro Tank or Pro Tank Tool, it'll get you every time. It's great. Just vape it. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. All right. Who, anybody, anybody else? I tell people all the time, all you need to do is make a connection. No need to crank on it. He is talking in regards to cranking down your tank. So many people will crank this thing down. The next thing you know, you pull, push your post down. Mr. All Rules 1965, good man. Thanks for spreading the word. It's making contact right now. I could, I could crank this down to flush mount it, but you don't have to. Take care of your post. You make contact, you're good. If it's really, really wobbly that you can't stand it, give it a couple of little quarter trips, whatever. You're good. All right. Moving along. I think that might be about it. Hopefully, I didn't. <laughs> ah, double shock. He says, yeah, your kid isn't annoying at all, brother. I hate videos that I watch, and the person tells their kids or wives to get out. I'm making a video. <laughs> No, I just say that to my wife. <laughs> oh, daughter's adorable. Thank you, Double Shock. You're a good, good man. Or, or woman, whoever you are. Notice you have more cotton. Oh, yeah, he's talking about the recoiling the cotton. I did read this, Double Shock. I agree with you, and I've learned about this. you got to have the right cotton. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Anyway, yeah, cool. So that's it on that, I would say. Oh, oh, I want to address this, because right, this is one I haven't even read. I'm new to this whole e-smoking stuff, and I'm really more into pipes rather than cigarettes. And after learning a bit on e-pipes, I came across this conceptual pipe design. Decided to make an e-pipe based on this design. I have the tools and the know-how to create something similar uh, from all sorts of material. <clears throat> wood, plastic, aluminum, wood being the cheapest, and aluminum the most expensive. My problem is fitting all the stuff in it without screwing with the design too much. So I was hoping you could shed some light on the subject. Maybe help me with the measurements. Wow. Mr. Nendov, happy holidays. Let me take a peek at this pipe. I can't promise you anything right now because I'm, you know, I'm just, hmm, I'm looking at it and it's a fancy looking pipe. You know, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, buddy. I will definitely do my best to help you. But I can't promise you anything because I'm not very handy. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll respond to that later uh, through his email if he doesn't get this on the on the video. Um, other than that, hey, let's get to our juices. How about that? Um, so I'm going to talk about the juices that I like. And you guys can try them or you don't have to. Whatever. I don't care. I'll let you do it. Trying to get you guys a video. Talk about some things. Clear the air on some things. First of all, this is a juice I've come to love. This is from E Liquid Premium Blend. E Liquid Premium Blend from EC Blends. Just Google it; it'll come right up. These guys have the cheapest E Liquid that I've seen, and the one that I like is RY4 Tobacco. See the color of it? Some people say you need to age it, but it definitely tastes like tobacco with a hint of like caramel, maybe a little vanilla. I don't know. Something sweet there. But it reminds me of caramel. Mm. 50 50 blend. Love it. Gotta have it. I have it all the time now. I recently discovered that one when I was trying to get into more tobacco flavors. What do we have here? Whatever it is, it's almost empty. It's probably flooded. Wait a minute. Uh, judging by the color, I think this is, mm. this one comes from Virgin Vapor, French Toast, it's French Toast, and it tastes like French Toast, maybe a little cinnamon, taste the syrup, taste the butter, but you taste the French Toast, I mean, you taste everything, it's almost Christmassy, it reminds me of Christmas. I don't vape on it all the time, but after just having it just now, I'm going to vape on it the rest of the day, I can tell you that. Okay. Moving along. I think this might be espresso from Backwoods Brew. I need to label it. Yep. Espresso. Backwoodsbrew.net. And uh, it's one i got to have. I'll vape on this in the mornings with my coffee. It's the best coffee flavor I've found yet. Okay. 70-30 blend, not as much vapor, but it's excellent. What do we got here? This, well, to me that looks like malt, or uh, not malty toffee, but uh, it mm, 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 there. This is another one. This is definitely an all-day beef for me. Buttered rub. Look at that. And it starts off, when it first comes, it's more clear, but as it ages, it gets darker, and the flavor, it tastes just like buttered rum. This comes from Copper Creek again, along with my Copper Creek House blend. i got to have this at all times. This is one I will vape on all day, for sure. Some days, I'll vape on this for two days in a row. Mm, mm, mm. I get the 80-20 blend on this, okay? 80% VG, 20% PG. So if you're Something you think you might like that kind of sounds good, I promise you'll like that. That is just, oh, 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 I just love vaping. I just love vaping. Um, I think this is the, can we already do this? Let's see. Pretty sure this is the RY4, right? Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. 
More tanks, more tanks, more tanks. This, I believe, is truly tobacco. How do I know all this? I don't know. Drop <laughs> it. Come on, baby. I should have brought paper towels. Everything's juicy. Now, if a king of protein for me gets flooded, here's what I do. I hold it upside down. And I vape like that. Sometimes juice will get in your mouth, but that's clearing out that coil so it won't be flooded anymore, and then you can go back to vaping it normally. Mm. What we have here... Let me just fill one of these for you. It is truly tobacco. This is another flavor that I've come to just love. We're going to need that one. I buy it in the big ones. As you can see, 120 mil. Uh, this one is a 50... 40, 60 blend I did on this one. 40 PG, 60 VG. Which is a pretty good blend, I think. I'm going to fill that up. Um, let's make sure that you can. I'm just kinda, I tend to, uh, just if I'm not going to clean it out good, I'll just pour out what's left, you know, because it might be kind of gunky, burnt juice. Whatever. And then we will fill this up. Pro tank three. Here's how you fill, or two, whatever. Pro tank, pro tank two or three, they all fill the same way. Got it way slanted and as I come up I get it uh, just like that. For some reason my uh, head came out from my base. No big deal. We'll screw that back in. And I'm going to give that a little blow off. Screw it on. That baby is back ready to vape. Simple as that man. Screwing it down making contact. And it just tastes like tobacco to me, it's, and it's very good. It also has a hint of something. Uh, some Everybody describes this flavor differently to me. I have a lot of people try it. Oh, it kind of tastes like that. It tastes like that. And I'm like, hmm, well, I don't know how you're getting that. I guess that's the subjective juice, right? Hmm. But it's something i, I got to have. And this is also from Shop Copper Creek. You're starting to notice that I use the same vendors, right? There are so many juice vendors out there. This is why I'm doing this. I've had a lot of people say, man, I'm getting into vaping and stuff, and, uh, but I'm finding that I, I don't care for the juice. It tastes like crap. And I, and I, and I want to say this. Um, juice is not all created equal. I have had waffles from like four different vendors and only one of them I liked. The rest of them I didn't like at all. What do you have, man? That's twisted tobacco. It's all right, man. It's kind of like smoking a fine cigar and that comes from uh, Backwoods Brew, but I find that I'm not vaping it a lot, so whatever. If you're something you might be into, check it out. It's not bad. It's really not bad. But it's just not my favorite. But I, w I could never say, oh, that's, that's awful or nothing like that either. Malty Toffee. This is from BackwoodsBrew.net. It's the only one that is 100% uh, VG in this tank. It's been through hell. This is an SVD Nova fitted with a dual coil head. Look at that. See all the chipping coming off? That's why I'm not a fan of the SVD anymore. But, hey, it works. This is Malty Toffee, and it tastes wonderful. Hundred percent VG, lots of vapor. This is a flavor I've got to have. It's not one that I vape on all day, but I easily could if I had to. But usually for me, it's like it's, got, it's definitely a, a, a dessert vape. But I got to have it once in a while. Mm. That is just awesome. That is just awesome. Okay, last 
and not least, and that tank is sitting on the counter in there, um, I should grab it. I'll grab it. I'll be right back. Oh, this video is going to be so long, guys. I'm sorry, but hey, it's fun. We're just hanging out. I just wanted to hang out with you today because it's Christmas Eve. This one is for my subscribers. This one is for those that I constantly get emails from. Dolores, uh, OP Aaron, or OP Rant, whatever your name is. I never can get it straight. Um, all you guys, I'm missing some people out there. I know um, Ryan Engel, Tyler Billbrook, Nathan Morgan. Um, there's one guy, he, his profile picture is, is a, like Jackie Chan, a Chinese dude. Forget his name, dang it, but I'm not going to go search for it. All you people, this is for you. I'm just hanging out with you. I'm just, you know, it's kind of like a vape vlog, like Grim, Grim Green's vape vlog kind of a thing, you know. And this is one you can watch in segments. It's one you can watch uh, while browsing your Facebook and, you know, drinking your coffee, making your coffee, doing your dishes, you know, you have, maybe you have it up in the background. Okay, let me grab that tank. We're going to talk about this last flavor that i got to have. Lastly, backwoodsbrew.net uh, waffle. It is, I mean, oh my God, guys, if you, you've just got to try it. Um, me and my buddy Steve Lane, another railroader friend of mine, we hang out a lot. And uh, he, he, he's a smoker, but he always wants to vape, which, hey, it's all good to me, right? Uh, so when we're playing pool and stuff and he's not stepping outside, he's vaping on my uh, stuff. And uh, I think it's great because he loves it. And it's like he said, he said, man, this is like, I mean, this just tastes like breakfast, man. This is great. And this is one I vape on. I literally got done vaping on this three days in a row, nothing but this. This is how good this is to me. Waffle from Backwoods Brew. So Backwoods Brew, you can't go wrong with. ShopCopperCreek.com, you cannot go wrong with. Virgin Vapor is excellent. And if you're wanting an RY4, I don't know where you went. EC Blends. God, there it is. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You shop at those vendors, they're going to they're gonna give you good flavors. And they, let's just hit some waffle. Mm. And that's a 70-30, 70, 70 PG, 30 VG, not very famous for uh, vapor. But coming out of this dual coil Vivinova, just freaking awesome. Let's do it out of the, um, the Ego Twist. How about that? Just to show you guys, you don't need a big fancy mod. An Ego Twist works fantastical. Mm, mm. Look at that. Mm. And it tastes, oh, God, I just love vaping. Boba's Bounty. Got to have Boba's Bounty. Yes, this is the legit Boba's Bounty. I always have Boba's Bounty. Lately, I've been digging Gorilla Juice, though. It's got a touch of a little, like, banana to it. So maybe if you like something a little sweeter, go with the Gorilla Juice or get one of each. See which one you like better. I always am vaping on that. Where is my Boba's Bounty tank? It's probably sitting out there somewhere. Let me just browse here if there's anything else I need to show you. Copper Creek House Blend, Buttered Rum, Multi Toffee, Espresso, this uh, French Toast from Organic Maple French Toast from VirginVapor.com. Excellent. Um... And this is Boba's Bounty. Yeah, that's about it, man. Chewy Tobacco from Shop Copper Creek Waffle. Uh, Copper Creek House Blend. That's what I vape on all the time. By far the most, it's Chewy Tobacco, RY4, Waffle. I mean, I vape on all of them. And I, I'll get on a kick, man. I get, you know, like I said, Waffle, I vaped on it for three days straight. Today, I'm, 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 I had that French toast. I'm going to probably vape on it the rest of the day. And that's what's great about vaping. So let's end all of that, this long, long video. Thank you to all of those that stuck with me on this video. And thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you all for your comments and making me feel so good. And you just, you guys, sometimes, man, you just make my day. And it's fantastic.
perfect. Next, I'm going to get a lower quality camera out and I'm going to take on a little tour of my home and we're going to go outside and show you the snow. Um, you know, maybe I'll show you the guitar a little bit. Hey, we can show you the guitar right now. How about that? That's another hobby I have other than flying RC copiers and babies. Uh, I love playing guitar. Some people have seen my videos on uh, YouTube that I play in a band, you know. I don't play out near as much anymore, but, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, I still play. Um, here's one of the things that, I came, that I've been playing with is a Pink Floyd thing. Check this out. Yeah, I love playing guitar. I'm always losing my picks. There it is. And uh, I love, you know, so I like things like that. I like blues. You know. Country, uh, do a little jazz. You know. to me right now. What? Sugar. She's a good dog. Got her from the Humane Society. Rescued her. She's an old dog now. She's a good dog. Anyway, let's end this. We're going to go to a tour and we'll be right back here. Okay, here we are. My cheap camera. I can see you. I see you. Alright, so I'm in my kitchen. Beautiful, right? Yeah. It's a small house. We make do. What more do you need? All right. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Divinity. Making divinity. Green. Food coloring. There's a tasty brew right here. This is a New Belgium Accumulation Winter Seasonal. It's very tasty. You should definitely give it a shot. Mmm. All right. So I just made divinity. It's Hershey's chocolate chips. There's my vape. 
There's Cameron, my kid, running around in a t-shirt for some reason. Here, check this out. My other passion is cooking, man. I like cooking. I have these hobbies. The other thing I do is work on computers and build computers. This is marinating. This is going to be chicken nachos tonight. Dad's coming over. It looks crappy right now, I know. But let's go in here. This looks familiar, right? This is where we do everything. This is what I see. I got video clips going into the editor right now. I'm, I've decided I'm not going to really edit this much. And uh, just because it's Christmas Eve, I just don't have all the hours. i got to make fudge. I still have a lot of stuff I have to do. Um, let's check out the living room. Come, come, come with me, come with me. <laughs> Christmas Village with one of the cats. Christmassy, right? Isn't that nice? It works. The cat ruins it all the time. Here's what the wife baked peanut butter blossoms. I've got some. It's supposed to be red, but it's more pink divinity. Here we did the old sugar cookies, cut them out. Wow, and they are going fast. I don't know who's been eating them all, but it hasn't been me. What do we got here? Magic cookie bars. And toffee cookies. Should have did more sugar. Here's my daughter putting her DS. Say hi, Alex. No? Okay. That's where we watch our TV. And whatever. Cat tree. Here's our Christmas tree. Pretty cool, right? I'll have to do a picture of the uh, outside decorations because I just don't really... just don't really have... You know, it's, it's light out there. So... Said, why don't we head outside? Here we go. Here we go. There's the outdoors. And here we are, South Dakota. Flip this around. The neighbors. Just kind of a look at my house. You can see that my son loves to be on video. The lights coming down. Check it. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. I'm always decorating. And every year I decorate. One year I didn't, and I had so many complaints that I had to start. Hey, there's a dog down there. What's that dog doing down there? Can you see that? Can I zoom? No, eh, guess not. I'm sure there's a way. Wait a minute. Here we go. Zooming. Look. Way down there. Okay, coming back, coming back. And this is the snow. This is what we have to deal with in South Dakota snow. Here is my front yard. See all my trees, you know, Christmas trees that I got stood up here. And there's my house, the front of my house. It looks tiny, right? Because it is kind of tiny. Some deer out there. And there's a Santa Claus and a snowman. There's a Rudolph up on the porch. Here's my car. Actually, it's the wife's car. It's what she drives. I drive this LeSabre up here. It's nothing fancy. Whatever. It works. It's just my work car. And inside, see that grip-looking thing sitting there? I see my reflection. Yeah, we call it a grip, but it's a big backpack. That's what I carry to work, and that's what all of my vaping supplies are tumbling around in at all times. Um, if you live in South Dakota, this will be your best friend. Snowblower. I bought it on eBay years ago for like 80 bucks. <laughs> Here's my puppies. They're Shep. They're Sugar. Usually they're in the house. I mean, I don't usually keep them in the fence. This is my backyard. I don't usually keep them in the fence, though. But uh, usually they just run free because they stick around. They're good dogs. I've trained them well. And that is really about it for the quick tour. And uh, now you may know me a little bit more personally, and I think that's cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's Christmas! I'm excited about Christmas. I love Christmas. All right, let's go back in. We'll do one more quick video on the uh, webcam, and we'll go from there. Perfect. Let me stop this thing. Here we go. So that's it, my friends. And, uh, yeah, my wife didn't want to be on video. <laughs> Filled this up with some new French toast, and it's tasting lovely. And, uh, 
really good flavor. It's pretty intense though, man. It's pretty rich. Anything I, I found anything from Virgin Vapor, it's pretty intense. Other than that, the waffle flavor I thought about uh, that I was talking about earlier, it tastes just like good homemade real. I mean, I'm not necessarily homemade, but the real or you know maple syrup with a, just a hint of something else, of waffle or something. Just great though. I never really mentioned what it tasted like. So that's what it tastes like. And um, yeah, my wife's pointing at something, telling me something. Mm -hmm. What? Labels? <laughs> Labels. She's wrapping presents. She doesn't want to be on camera. I asked her, but she said, no, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> women. Anyway, to all those women out there, um, not directed at you. Not at all. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a very happy Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me today. That's what this has been about. Just me and my subscribers. This isn't for those people that are just stumbling around and they happen to get onto this video and be like, Oh, God, man, that was way long-winded, all this unnecessary stuff. This isn't for you. You know, if you want... Oh, first of all, if you are if you don't want long-winded, you don't want to watch any of my videos, man, because I'm just not capable of doing anything straight to the point. But it's just who I am. But anyway, I thought it would be cool if we could all kind of... You know, get to know each other on a more personal basis. And because uh, I feel like you guys are becoming my friends and friends know things about each other. So now you know what my house looks like and you know that there's snow out there. And um, I thought it was just really cool, you know, to be able to, because I haven't done a video in so long, to do something a little different. Because there's not a lot, you know, we've been in a plateau. We've, Like I mentioned at the very <clears throat> start of this video, it exploded. We got tanks. Now we got these great clear misers that we can build ourselves, make even better. We've got mods. There's just like, it seems to be not a lot left. There's not a lot of new ideas coming out. I was just sent uh, a new tank by a lady uh, in China, I believe. There's a picture. It's a package of one of the tanks. It's supposed to be some revolutionary tank. It's a good idea. It's basically like a top coil. It, it's like they took a Vivinova and crossed it with a pro tank. First, I thought this was a great idea. But there's, it doesn't wick well enough. Um, the stock heads that they have, I, I was able to, to rig a, a pro tank head in it and made it, a lot, made it a lot better. But still, there isn't enough juice that's able to flow down and then it leaks. It's just... So people are trying, but it's like we're running out of ideas. And um, But I'm happy, you know. It, like I say, I, I've said it in another video. Lately, I watch people's reviews and it's like, here's another um, rebuildable atomizer. You know, uh, oh, this one's dual coil. Watch me build a dual coil. Uh, this is another dual coil. This one's a little better than this one. This one is better than this one, though. But this one's not quite as good because this one is better. But this one's 500 bucks. This one's 20 bucks. And, and here's another, you know, mesh. You know, and I'm not a fan of mesh. I just that's the biggest reason I I I, I was supposed to do an RSST. You know, the uh, Smoke Tech RSST, uh, the one with you use the stainless steel mesh, the uh, Genesis Atomizer. Uh, you know, it was okay, but it wasn't as good as this. And I'm sorry, the pain in the butt that thing is, and, and, and as expensive as those Genesis styles can be, they better surpass this at least, and they don't. They're not even as good as my, in my opinion. That's why I chose not to review them, because I, I, I can't do a fair, I must be doing something wrong, even though I've done it every way that I can think of to do it. Even even doing the old, you know, three wraps, sub ohm coils, and they're, it's pretty good, but it's just not as good as this. And, uh, and I'm just not a fan of running, risking my batteries and my mods anymore. Now that I've discovered micro coils and I build those now, that's all I need. They're every bit as good. And cotton to me is excellent. So uh, that's that. And uh, so that's why I don't review those. But other than that, other than those and, you know, what we already have in tanks, there's not a lot really coming out except more variations of the same old, same old, and the only difference is quality and price and construction and how easy this one is to coil versus the other. So that in mind, and being that I don't like doing two, three, four hundred dollar, you know, uh, whatever they, whatever it happens to be that I'm reviewing, because I can't afford it. I don't get stuff sent to me, and uh, except for this stuff, I, I got to get back to that company. But either way. And so I thought, well, how can I put out a video um, and maybe put out something 
different, something for the fans, for the, for the, the you know, the, you know, the prescribers, and, uh, you know, I just uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, some of you guys are just, I mean, you've really become, like I've said before, a, a friend, and I look forward to hearing from you, and I enjoy getting your messages, and uh, there's times that, uh, that I'm tired, I'm out there on the train in the middle of the night, and I'm just dog tired. Maybe the day hasn't been that great. I don't know. I'll read one of your guys' comments, and it's just like, wow. So all of you are just so great. And uh, so that's why I thought I, I could do this video and make it a little bit more personal and just us hanging out together and just on Christmas Eve. And uh, like I say again, I'm sorry this is going to be a long video for, for but a lot of you I know aren't going to mind. And I'm sorry if I repeated things, but I didn't know what I had said before and didn't say when that whole video got cut off and stuff. So, other than that, man, it's all about the love today. Christmas is great because I think human beings all get more on the same wavelength. You know, so often in this world and country these days, it's all about be afraid and, and, uh, and, and people just trying to divide us with Demo Democrats and Republicans and, uh, you know, politics. And uh, they do a good job of it by keeping us divided on the gun issue and uh, abortion and all that stuff. It's like someone's trying to keep us apart. And, uh, um, but this is a time of year where it feels like everyone is forgetting about that. And everybody's a little happier. And I, that's why I love this time of year. And uh, anyway, that's what it's all about. And it should be this time of year all year. And it can be right here and right here. And anyway, everybody, please have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you sooner than I saw you this time. But if not, hey, I'll be reading. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can on things. Just bear with me because I'm probably going to be working a lot. But I will get back with you. And other than that, have a Merry Christmas. Have a great New Year. Um, and I'll just uh, talk to you later, all right? Thank you very much for hanging out, guys. I love you. Let's have a vape. Mm -mm -mm, that is tasty. Keep vaping, my friends. Love you again. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you so much.